Aloha and mabuhay. I want to welcome you to another edition of Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson, uh, here with you every Tuesday, 12 noon live on Think Tech Hawaii. Today, we're going to have a conversation with a great uh, leader of uh, Hawaii, uh, not only in our Filipino community, but all throughout uh, the world. And uh, it's a pleasure to introduce to you Carlota Hofana. Ader, uh, the current president of Hawaii Filipino Women's Club and Associates. Welcome to Pinoy Power Hawaii. Oh, aloha and welcome too. And thank you for having me here today, Amy. We um, are excited to uh, let our listening uh, audience know of the success we have just had yes. with the uh, 45th uh, Turno Ball. Yes. So you're here to tell us of uh, the success and how did our uh, club get all started? Well, actually, it was in 1954 when one of this, uh, one of the 10 Filipino women here in Hawaii who came far away from the Ilocos province of the Philippines on the northern side, that was actually uh, Angelis Sevillana Mangaser. And she decided that they have to form some kind of association. Mm -hmm. And they decided to form the Filipino Women's Club. And then from there, it escalated to, uh, in order to emulate the three um, uh, attire of the Filipinos mm -hmm. that was worn only for exclusive occasions in the Philippines during the Spanish time, mm -hmm. which is the uh, Terno, the Maria Clara, and the Kimona. Okay, and so those women's. are the three yes. Um, yes. garments. Yes. That are uh, specially prepared for uh, Filipinas to wear on special occasions? Yes, used mm -hmm. to be. Actually, uh, during the time, it was mostly the royalties. The royalties. The mid, yes. Uh, the elites. Yes. But mm -hmm. now, I mean, you know, it's worn almost every occasion, special occasions though, mm -hmm. formal for Filipinos. In that way, it's one way of um, bringing back the Philippine culture mm -hmm. and to emulate our youth about it. Mm -hmm. that that's part of our um, cultural heritage. So this tradition uh, goes back from our Spanish, yes. uh, ties us back to that Spanish era when yes. uh, we were governed by Spaniards. Spain. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I must say that uh, I enjoy wearing them. Uh, it's elaborate and also very classy, Yes. Uh, elegant, mm -hmm. and it's made with the most, uh, uh, the finest, Fibers, yes, especially the top uh, one actually is piña, piña from mm -hmm. the pineapple, yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, coconut is also used, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, it's all from uh, natural uh, sources. Yes, and we women proudly wear it. Mm -hmm. uh, we just celebrated our forty-fifth uh, turno turno ball. That's Saturday, yes, mm -hmm. that's Saturday. But it's also the 65th anniversary of, of the, the club. organization, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can you elaborate uh, and tell us a little bit more about what we do and our purpose? Yeah. Actually, at the beginning part, there were a lot of charitable organizations that the club were involved with. Mm -hmm. One of them uh, is the um, Food Bank, Aloha United Way, mm -hmm. and they also um, have the go to the schools to prepare and help the students for their things when they have some um, conventions or it's just like actually a community, community service, service. Yes. yes volunteer work mm -hmm. and then they decided to also in, uh, include the scholarship just so to entice the students to study well mm -hmm. and get good grades of course you know because that's the Filipino pride and everybody's parents right mm -hmm. and Lately, we followed that. The only thing what did not, we did not or we're not doing now is the food bank, only because we don't have that much members. But we still do the feeding of the homeless. Mm -hmm. Actually, last year, we did go to the um, um, INA in, I mean, the men's headquarters mm -hmm. and also the women's headquarters. So we did that. And I brought, I brought one of our officers and the reigning Grandma Hawaii International, which is also an officer mm -hmm. of this uh, Hawaii Filipino um, club. So it goes on. And until today, we maintain the scholarship. And bet you. 
That's we, a good incentive yes. for the young uh, generation mm -hmm. to uh, I encourage them to have uh, good grades yes. so that they will qualify for uh, the uh, scholarship. scholarship that is yes. being given. Yes. Yeah. And uh, this year's recipient, do you want to go ahead and Oh, this uh, year's mention? recipient mm -hmm. is uh, um, Ashley Joy Salako, mm -hmm. the daughter of um, our vice president, in fact, of the organization. And she will be graduating from St. Francis with a 4.0. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Ashley. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we also want to congratulate uh, the winners for uh, both. Yes, and by the way, you mm -hmm. were one of the winners on the Queen of Queens. Yeah, talking about the Queen of Queens, this is the first time that we have it. Mm -hmm. We thought about it because in as much that it's the 45th year, it's a gala for the turno. Mm -hmm. We decided that why don't we put up the Queen of Queens where we also invited the past queens 44 years ago. Mm -hmm. I know that most of them already is gone. But for the rest, they did participate. And we did. Yeah. And that's why I was able to participate as a, a past UFCH, Mrs. Hawaii Filipina. Yeah, all the Mrs. Hawaii Filipina. Mm -hmm. And the organizations that have the title, the reigning title, right. you know, today. The so title holder, holders. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, of course, the incentive there and the funniest part, but it's actually became... Um, um, the talk of the town is, if you have to wear mm -hmm. your terno on the year that you won the title, mm -hmm. 10 points added to your purse. And that's how you won. That's because, probably why. <laughs> because you were using your, the terno that you won, that yes. you used when My you won. My winning terno in 2007. See, 2007. I, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I did. Uh, they were wondering why I was on there, and I said, well, once upon a time. <laughs> I, I, I did win my title uh, officially 2007 as Mrs. Oe Filipina. Yeah, and that's the gown that you wear. You I use. was so yes. happy to be able to uh, fit in it. In fact, it kind of fitted uh, kind of loose, but yeah. I, I was happy that I was able to slip into it. Yeah, actually, the, the three of you, the, the winner, mm -hmm. Queen of Queens, Mrs. Cora Buckley, used the same one that, yes. that was way how many years ago? Yes. And that's so. You and even Nancy, Dr. Nancy, Nancy Walsh. Walsh. Yes. She used the same outfit that mm -hmm. she, you know. So that's all plus 10. Yeah, yeah. So we proudly wore it and we got extra points for wearing our old uh, terno. Yeah, that's why I told everybody, mm -hmm. the audience, try watch those contestants with a rose on their hand. Mm -hmm. That's how you can distinguish that they are using or they were using their ternos. Yes, yeah. and I'm proud I participated. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other uh, half was the uh, uh, Terno Queen. Miss Terno. No, Miss Terno, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Miss Terno, yes. This is the 45th one. And do you know that the winner, um, Mrs. Uh, Sarah, mm -hmm. she won the Miss Kimona. Mm -hmm. she, she, the I Maria think Clara. She, yeah, the Maria Clara. Mm -hmm. I think she won it all already. Yeah, she is a triple crown triple, winner. Yes. We call them triple crown. Yeah. As well as... Uh, uh, Cora Buckley Buck is She's also a triple crown yes, winner. Yes, triple crown winner. Yeah. Wow. It's just like a show horse. Not, not that they are. Yeah, but, yeah uh, that's right. Yeah. When you win uh, all the uh, horse, the race horse, right? Mm -hmm. You are considered a triple crown in those uh, horse derby. Yeah, so. and and uh, that's the most exciting part. And do you know that right after that, actually, physically, we have the one that sit seated was. 302, mm -hmm. but plus the one standing for most of the officers stood up because mm -hmm. we cannot put any more table. It was 318. Yeah, so it was attended. a sold out yeah. event. Yes. And uh, we want to thank all those uh, generous sponsors mm -hmm. uh, that have uh, donated generously. And yeah, I would like to congratulate also our winners. And you remember March 8th? That Friday, mm. the whole world celebrated Women's Day mm -hmm. in all kinds of occasions. And that's also to um, commemorate that not only men mm -hmm. can um, hold, a title. hold a title. There are women also holding high title in government. Mm -hmm. you know, women who are su very success successful in running their own businesses. Right. You know. And so it coincides on Friday and then that following the weekend, Saturday, yeah. Yeah, we... Um, celebrated uh, women's ter power. Yes, women's. I have to mention power. that uh, my daughter was happy to participate for, for the, the first, first time. time. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. and she and got she beginner's luck. 
Yeah, and she yeah. won. Yes, and she uh, was also a winner. So I'm. She very was so proud happy. Yeah. Yeah. I hope she will come back. Oh, that's my daughter. She just uh, is happy-go-lucky, and yeah. she wears her emotions on her sleeve, and she didn't mind being in a turno. Actually, you know, that morning, I'm mm -hmm. glad that I had a talk a little bit with KPRP. Mm -hmm, I called mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm. That morning, people were still calling if we can still take people. I, we cannot because the hotel can no out. longer, yes, they can no longer make table mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. then we don't have no place to walk. Right. That's the thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a successful event, and I want to commend you for your leadership. It's not easy when you're uh, uh, trying to uh, get powerful Filipino women all together because yeah. we all have our own opinion, let yeah. me tell you. <laughs> well, I have my co-chairs also. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Adela Salakup. We have my sister, Baby Hupana Blan. And yeah, we have. Baby. Yeah, we have Cora Buckley, mm -hmm. and we have... Um, Sherry. Sherry Reganit, mm -hmm. um, Pat Tangonen. Annabelle Kabebe. Mm -hmm. So all those really, you know, efforts, team effort. Yes. That's why we call it, yes. Uh, many mm -hmm. hands make light work. Yeah. Yes. So we, when all, we all synergize and put all of ideas, mm -hmm. our uh, ability to uh, get things done, mm -hmm. and uh, just to uh, get together for a common cause makes it a very worthy uh, event mm -hmm. and a very successful one. Yeah, and some people that attended uh, that night, already um, asked me, they want to sign, they want to be a member, <laughs> they want to come mm -hmm. back next year. Yes. And this time they will be ready, they, said they, got, they have their own turn and stuff like that. Yes. And not to mention, we also have the barong. Yes, let's not forget <laughs> the man because uh, the man is uh, the other side of the equation and we yeah. want to congratulate the winners too. And it's also um, big time, you know, for uh, Joel Tolentino, who's one of our mm -hmm. awardees, for the first time, yes. we get the entertainment and produce, uh, producer, mm -hmm. and he got it. And he also won Mr. Barong. Well, he wore his Barong well, as well as uh, uh, Mr. Lim. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, of course, um, Sarah Suzuki has been, uh, you know, with... Um, uh, Osaka. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, uh, Sarah Suzuki. Oh. Blue Waters. Yeah. Oh, okay. All yes. right. Uh, she's been a caregiver and, uh, you know, administrator at the same time. Mm -hmm. And um, she, she has lots of caregivers, actually, that mm -hmm. was sent to her. And she managed it well. That's why sometimes I tease her, well, no more time to make kids. That's why she doesn't have kids. Mm -hmm. But she's been married for 27 yeah. years, happily with a husband, you know. Yes. Really, yes. you know. We want to congratulate uh, the ones that were honored. And yes. she was uh, one of them. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. All those hardworking uh, Filipinas that uh, want to uh, preserve our culture, our tradition, and mm -hmm. of course, uh, serving our community. Not mm -hmm. only in our Filipino community, but uh, uh, our Hawaii community in general. And yes. they do such a wonderful job. Yes. So, yeah, if they want to be a part of next year's event, mm -hmm. uh, who, do they contact you or do they go yeah, to our they, website? Yeah, they uh, we are planning to put on the website this time because mm -hmm. people are asking. Actually, the governor also asked, mm -hmm. you know, Mrs. Uh, First Lady. And I said, well, this time we will do it. And I hope uh, you did a good job, too, you know. Well, we I hope, all. Uh, I hope that you will still be in the board. Yes, until 2020. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I have a special position, cousin, because I have to audit. I know. To make sure that all the numbers uh, <laughs> tallies and yes, you know. They all add up. That's what a good organization is yes. uh, supposed to do is to mm -hmm. be accountable, transparent and yes. make sure that our budget is uh, uh, is there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back. Uh, thank you again for joining us. We're having a conversation with Carlota Hofana Ader, uh, the president of Hawaii Filipino Women's Club and Associates as well as many other organizations that she has and also a uh, recipient of many, many awards. We're having our conversation on how to uh, continue our legacy and tradition in preserving our culture and our heritage. You're listening to Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. We will be right back.
Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means, let's take healthy back. Aloha. Hello, I'm Dave Stevens, host of the Cyber Underground. This is where we discuss everything that relates to computers that's just going to scare you out of your mind. So come join us every week here on thinktechhawaii.com, 1 p.m. on Friday afternoons. And then you can go see all our episodes on YouTube. Just look up the Cyber Underground on YouTube. All our shows will show up. And please follow us. We're always giving you current, relevant information to protect you, keeping you safe. Aloha. I want to welcome you back to Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. Again, we want to thank the wonderful staff of Think Tech Hawaii for giving us this opportunity of empowerment to come into your home live every Tuesday at 12 noon. Today, we're having a conversation with Carlota Hufana Ader, uh, also a relative who hails from La Union, Pride of La Union. And uh, we are talking about the uh, Filipino Women's Club and Associates. Uh, the uh, 45th annual Turner Ball had just happened uh, last weekend, and it was a very, very successful event. We want to thank all of the sponsors, the organizers, the leaders, and members of this wonderful organization for all their help and uh, for making it uh, a success. So let's get back to our conversation. Uh, again, congratulate you on your le leadership. Uh, I know that you are well uh, looked up to as a leader, not only in our Filipino community, but also globally. I want to congratulate you for your hard work and uh, wanting to make a difference and being such a great women le leader. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about Carlota Ader on our <laughs> second half of our program. Tell us a little bit about you and what you've done. I know you've done so many. Well, actually, um Amy, it's a vision and mission, actually, mm -hmm. because when my dad was still alive, um, we had, we started with a fishing industry in the Philippines to begin mm -hmm. with, and there were a lot of people that fished for us, and along the shores, mm -hmm. that's actually the property that we're selling now, and then when my da grandfather passed away, um, my dad gave them whatever they have, mm -hmm. if they had their, the, the boat, the nest. They have that as a remembrance to us. Mm. And my dad was the barrio captain then mm -hmm. of, of San Agustin, San Fernando City, mm -hmm. which actually will be having their um, fiesta in May 5, and I'm coming. I'm going to the Philippines for You're that. You're going back. Take yes. me with you. Yeah, why not? And uh, before my dad uh, passed, I was here in Hawaii, and we were conversing in the hospital. I was on duty that night. I remember very well. And he mentioned that when we're up there, don't forget the people below you. Mm -hmm. Take care of brothers and sisters. Take care of people that help us. And take care of those unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Which I'm really continuing mm -hmm. until today. Mm -hmm. I wish my dad is alive today, but. He'd be very proud of you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So his like legacy, legacy continues. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're doing uh, just that because when we had the chance to travel together as uh, you, you were uh, honored to be one of 100 most powerful uh, Filipinas yes. globally. Congratulations yes. again. Thank you. We were in Cebu yeah. and uh, we had a chance to uh, look at uh, what's happening in our motherland. Mother, yes. mm -hmm. And uh, both you and I yes. had a chance to share our <laughs> blessings, uh -huh. uh, paying it forward and also paying it, paying it back. And I, what's your thought on that? I know we are well, very blessed. You know, I got goosebumps. Remember when we opened, when they opened the gate of St. Joseph? Uh, the orphanage? orphanage? Yes. I got goosebumps mm -hmm. and I cried a little bit. Those five little kids just came to us and hugged us. Hanging in. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. I said, I mean, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
for me and for others, if, if think for a while, mm -hmm. if you are in their shoes. Yeah. We were there. Yeah. Yeah. I said, um, it's unfortunate that they were in that situation, but mm -hmm. and that's the reason why we need to share whatever we have. Yes, so know. people like mm -hmm. you and us, uh, give them hope. Yes. Because uh, we were there to help them mm -hmm. uh, give our donations and uh, yes. to uh, give them a chance to also uh, live their dreams. Yeah, and they sang that nice uh, thank you song uh -huh. at the end with another goosebumps. So it really, you know, urge you to help more. Yes, you know. yes. And then we move on to the um, um, North Provincial High School. Mm -hmm. Actually, my brother-in-law graduated there, Mito Oblan, mm -hmm. and so with yes. uh, Adela Salakup. Mm -hmm. So we turn in the donations. Adela Salakup also donated um, part of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw the students again, you know. They were so happy and thankful that we did uh, uh, adopted their school. Yes, you know. yes. So this is the uh, scholarship part, yes. mm -hmm. uh, uh, gift of education, mm -hmm. the gift that gifts on uh, giving. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why uh, we, we had our national coverage because we yes. had the press yes. over there, yeah, remember? The press Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. Yeah. Well, ABS-CBN. Yes, mm -hmm. ABS-CBN. And uh, well, way back, actually, ABS-CBN is already having that uh, together with the Bantai Bata, mm -hmm. they already have that program. Mm -hmm. And it so happened that, you know, um, I was introduced with them in the Philippines and continued here when they came to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So when they called me, I was shocked. And I knew about the program. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'll see what I can do. And it happened. We right. did. You made know? it happen. Yeah. So that was the second school. Because the first school that actually that I did was uh, uh, Bucknotan, La Union High mm -hmm. School. Mm -hmm. We did that. And the first, the very, very first one was the um, uh, School of the Mute and Deaf of San Fernando. Mm. Um, I forgot that barrio in there. Um, but you did a, a feeding and a medical mission there in Bacnotan? It, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, in San Fernando, we actually adopted that uh, the school. school through the help of Mrs. Lolita. Um, Manang Lolita now. Waipahu was the first Grandma Hawaii International. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she donated part of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we move on. Actually, I'm looking forward to the fourth one. Mm -hmm. If we continue on and, you know, if we have uh, more funds. Yes. And then we also had a slight medical mission. It's not a big one. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Dr. Um, Godofredo Rilurasa, who is the nephew of Tita Lindy. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Um, Tita Lindy Aquino. Uh, yes. Yes. Dr. Lindy Aquino. And uh, we had a medical mission there where we saw like about 410 mm -hmm. um, indigents. So I think the legacy is moving on and it's being continued. And of course, to the help of some, not only um, our family and friends, but to the people of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So when you come and attend our function, you know, or event. You, yeah, or event, you actually sharing and mm. helping in our mission and vision. Yeah. This is our way of reassuring uh, the donors and mm -hmm. uh, those with a generous heart to share mm -hmm. their uh, wealth and their blessings that we do bring their donations mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, directly to the, those uh, benefactors mm -hmm. and uh, they benefit from it. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true, yeah. I think it's better rather than sending it and stuff like that. And I want to mention also, um, we also help I personally, with my dad's foundation, um, the Sarat Association in the Philippines, mm -hmm. yeah, where we, I gave uh, field health insurance to over 200 um, families and also the, the renew, new uniforms of the DSW. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We donated 200 brand new uniforms for the DSW. So the uniforms and the medical... Uh... Uh, insurance or medical insurance for medical one insurance year, yes. for one year yeah uh, for to over the yes. indigent uh, families yes wonderful mm -hmm. well uh, you know the scripture tell us that uh, <laughs> for those that are uh, uh, too much whom is uh, much is given much mm -hmm. is expected yes so actually one of the mission this May is 
they're asking us to donate 20 computers mm. for the children. Okay, yes. so those are like uh, technical support yes. and donation. This is this coming uh -huh. May. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I know that uh, there, if there's a will, there's a way. Yes. And uh, we will uh, continue to uh, do our part mm -hmm. in getting everyone together so that they can be um, educated, uh, they can be uh, aware of mm -hmm. the needs mm -hmm. that are uh, happening in uh, the Philippines. And yeah. we are the tools, uh, the tools of creations to help uh, get those donations uh, mm -hmm. to the people. And believe me, on my birthday, cousin, I go there too. Uh, rather than having a big birthday celebration, mm -hmm. I go there and feed the people and also donate to the schools yes, uh, that's, in that's... celebration for my birthday. So it's a good way. It's a good way to give back, mm -hmm. a good way to share your blessings. And uh, you, you did that too when we went. We yes. did the feeding. Yeah. And... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's priceless to be I able know. to see the children mm -hmm. uh, come to you, give you a hug, uh, tug on your skirt, that, right? Uh -huh, sing to you, and uh, it becomes very, very emotional because I myself can relate to that type of feeling. Mm -hmm. When I was a little girl, uh, I I know our Nipa hut, our shack, was open to the sky. You know, we were that poor. When it rained, it just poured, and we got we got wet. But how we live is a miracle and is certainly a blessing. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, as a little girl, grateful for people like mm -hmm. you with uh, such a uh, generous heart and giving heart that we, uh, we continue to uh, actually, share. Yeah, actually probably um, next year my daughter will be joining us. And uh, yeah, she, she donated. Actually, she gave us a lot of those... Um, Samples and because uh, one of our cousins owned a pharmacy mm -hmm. in in the Philippines, so we took some, you know, from their pharmacy, and my daughter paid for it. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So I challenge you to bring your daughter because I brought my two daughters uh, last uh, February. I know, yeah, uh -huh. I couldn't come and, because I was uh, so busy. Yeah. I got them to participate in giving, so mm -hmm. they too, in their little ways, uh, was able to give to the less fortunate mm -hmm. by visiting the schools and the orphanage. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I uh, challenge you and your daughter to do just that so you can join us for a nice mission. Well, that wraps up our conversation. I want to uh, congratulate you once again for carrying on the uh, Hufana legacy in memory of your grandfather and also your father. Mm -hmm. huh? and That's what I was telling my, kid, my siblings. I hope you will continue when I'm gone. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy. Because amidst, you know, my, uh, you know how I work. Sometimes I'm, I'm 24 hours, sometimes 16 hours. Mm -hmm. If nobody come, goes to work, I have to go to work. That's how it is when you're a supervisor, right? But amidst those things, mm -hmm. there is always a way to do something, to share your time. Mm -hmm. It's not really money sometimes, you know, to be with the less fortunate, like the homeless, and be with them. Even a share of... McDonald, they're mm -hmm. really happy. They're happy. I've done that with Jack in the Box here in Cali. Okay, we're going to invite you back because we are out of time. Uh, thank you for the empowerment here on Pinoy Power Hawaii. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. And today, we did just that with our guest, Carlota Hofana Ader. Thank you again. Maraming salamat po and mabuhay. mabuhay.